Good day and welcome to another episode of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I'm your host, the Voice of Reason. So this is a uh, war in Tigray update. Uh, there has been some, uh, I would say, uh, newer uh, developments. Uh, there continues to be fighting uh, inside of uh, Tigray. Uh, specifically, there are reports coming in that fighting can be heard from the capital, Mekele. There are also reports uh, that a possible offensive uh, either in or around the capital of Mekele by Tigrayan fighters uh, could occur uh, in the near future. Now, uh, is that something that uh, absolutely needs to happen, meaning a direct uh, offensive inside of Mekele? Well, the answer to that is, is both yes and no. So if the uh, Tigrayan forces are able to successfully interdict uh, supply convoys going into major cities such as uh, uh, Mekele, uh, up north uh, towards uh, Adagrat and uh, Axum and of course uh, out west towards uh, Shire. So is Tigrayan forces hampering Ethiopian supply? And I would have to say yes that is occurring and uh, it, it is, is being reported on the ground. And a, another uh, interesting thing that has occurred is that certain political demands have been made by the TPLF. Normally speaking, a military organization is not going to make demands such as the, the demands that were made by the TPLF unless they feel they have a strong hand. Now that strong hand doesn't necessarily mean they control major cities. Uh, given the fact that the Ethiopian Defense Forces and the Eritrean Defense Forces have moved large quantities of military forces into Tigray, specifically they have moved these forces into the large cities in towns. And if these forces inside of these large cities and towns are in fact besieged, where movement out of Tigray is difficult, where movement inside of Tigray is difficult, and the ability to feed those forces inside of Tigray is difficult, the uh, TPLF may have a better hand than it actually appears uh, in the media and obviously on the battlefield. Now, back to the Mekele uh, offensive. Is it necessary? Well, we can look at other historical conflicts um, that uh, uh, in which a uh, uh, an insurgent force, a, a, a force that was um, uh, trying to prevent an occupation um, were, were successful. And uh, I think we can look at Chechnya as an example. So Russian forces during the first Chechen war, the first Chechen war, uh, did not withdraw from Chechnya until Chechen fighters had launched an offensive into the capital of Grozny and caused heavy casualties on Russian forces inside of Grozny. And then we can also go back to, to uh, instances such as the, the Tet Offensive in Vietnam. While quite possibly a, a military defeat, it did show that the uh, North Vietnamese and the Viet Cong were able to uh, launch offenses against United States forces and uh, Arvin forces, and at least in the eye of the public opinion, 
it would have, have appeared that uh, uh, defeat was possible in terms of the capabilities that the uh, Viet Cong possessed. But back to uh, Eritrea and Ethiopia and Tigray, um, I think you would not necessarily have to see a large-scale offensive that would seize the capital, Michele, but you could see infiltration offenses, meaning groups of Tigrayan fighters enter the city, attack weak points inside of the city, seize control of those weak points briefly, and then uh, exit out of the city, which would, again, cause a significant panic of uh, Ethiopian forces uh, that are inside of Michele, as with Eritrean forces as well. So we'll see what happens in the coming days, coming weeks, and, and coming months.